my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the mba fourth semester subject international financial management as prescribed by jntu h and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision unit 1 first important short question is What is international financial management IFM International financial management IFM means managing money for businesses that deal across different countries Just like a finance manager handles income expenses and investments within India IFM handles these things at the global level It includes decisions related to foreign investments currency exchange international trade foreign risks and cross border funding simple example imagine tata motors sells cars in the usa the money earned there is in dollars but they spend money in india in rupees ifm helps tata to convert currencies handle foreign risks and decide how to invest or bring money back to india key points to remember IFM is equal to global money management deals with currency exchange foreign investment and risk more complex than domestic finance due to different laws taxes and currencies in short IFM helps indian companies grow in international markets by managing their finances wisely next important short question is two importance of international financial management International Financial Management IFM is very important because today many Indian companies do business across the world IFM helps them to handle money smartly in different countries Why IFM is important Currency conversion helps manage earnings in dollars euros yen etc Foreign investment guides companies in investing money in other countries Risk management protects from currency value changes like dollar to rupee. Funding decisions helps choose between borrowing in India or abroad. Profit maximization increases global profits through smart financial planning. Example: Infosys, an Indian IT company, earns most of its income from the USA and Europe. IFM helps Infosys convert foreign income into rupees, manage tax rules of each country and reduce currency risk. In simple words, IFM is like a financial GPS for Indian companies going global, helping them take safe and smart money decisions worldwide. Next unit 1. Long questions. First important long question is Nature and scope of international financial management Nature of international financial management IFM International financial management IFM is all about managing the financial activities of a business that operates in more than one country It deals with decisions like how to raise funds invest money manage foreign currency risks and plan international trade The nature of IFM is 1 global perspective IFM looks at finance not just within India but across the globe 2 currency management since countries have different currencies IFM helps manage currency exchange and risk 3 more risk oriented IFM faces more challenges than domestic finance due to fluctuating exchange rates political instability and different tax systems four cross border decisions ifm involves financial decisions related to foreign trade international borrowing lending and foreign direct investment fdi scope of international financial management the scope of ifm is broad and includes one foreign exchange risk management controlling losses from currency value changes two international investment decisions choosing where and how to invest money globally three international financing decisions 
selecting sources of finance, local or foreign, for international operations. 4. Working capital management, managing cash, inventory, and receivables in multiple countries. 5. Tax planning, handling international taxation and avoiding double taxation. 6. Hedging and derivatives, using tools to protect against risks in the international market. Example, Indian context. Suppose Reliance Industries plans to set up a factory in the USA. It needs dollars, must follow US laws, and deal with currency exchange. IFM helps Reliance arrange finance, manage risks, and make profitable decisions in a foreign land. Easy to remember tip, trick. Think of IFM as smart money management across borders. It helps Indian companies plan, invest, and grow globally while managing risks and profits wisely. Conclusion IFM plays a vital role in the success of global business. It supports Indian companies in making confident financial decisions in the international market, ensuring growth and stability. Next important long question is 2. Domestic FM versus IFM Domestic Financial Management versus International Financial Management IFM Meaning Domestic financial management deals with managing finance within one country, like India. International financial management, IFM, deals with financial decisions for businesses that operate in more than one country. Key Differences Feature Domestic FM International FM, IFM Scope limited to one country across many countries. Currency deals in only one currency multiple currencies, dollar, euro. Laws and regulations follows only Indian laws must follow rules of many countries. Risk level less risky more risky, currency, political, legal risks. Taxation only Indian tax laws multiple tax systems, double taxation. Example. Suppose Haldirams is doing business only in India. It earns and spends in rupees, follows Indian tax rules, and manages finance under domestic FM. Now, if Haldirams expands to Dubai and USA, it will start earning in dirhams and dollars and must deal with international trade rules, taxes, and currency risks. Here, it needs international financial management. Important points to remember. IFM is more complex due to currency exchange, political risks, and cultural differences. Domestic FM is simpler, more stable, and has less uncertainty. IFM requires knowledge of global markets, foreign investments, and international risk management tools. Easy tip to remember. Domestic FM is equal to managing PESA in India. IFM is equal to managing PESA plus dollar plus dirham in multiple countries. Conclusion Both domestic FM and IFM aim to manage money wisely, but IFM is broader and more challenging because it involves multiple currencies, countries, and risks. Indian companies going global must shift from simple domestic finance to smart international finance for success. Next important long question is 3. International business methods Meaning International business methods are the different ways in which companies do business across countries. When an Indian company wants to sell products, offer services, or invest in other countries, it uses one or more of these methods. Types of international business methods 1. Exporting and Importing Exporting, selling Indian goods to other countries. Importing, buying goods from other countries to sell in India. Example, Amul exporting dairy products to the USA. 2. Licensing A company gives rights to another company in a foreign country to use its brand or product. Example, 
Pepsi gives license to Indian bottlers to make and sell its products. 3. Franchising A company allows another party to use its name, system, and brand in another country. Example, McDonald's India operates under a franchise model. 4. Joint Ventures Two companies, one Indian, one foreign, join hands to start a new business together. Example, Maruti Suzuki, a joint venture between India's Maruti and Japan's Suzuki. 5. Wholly Owned Subsidiaries A company opens and controls its own branch in a foreign country. Example, TCS, Tata Consultancy Services, has offices and subsidiaries in the US, UK, etc. 6. Strategic Alliances Companies from different countries come together for a specific project without merging. Example, Tata Motors and Jaguarland Rover working together on electric vehicles. Easy trick to remember, FLJSW. F. Franchising L. Licensing J. Joint Venture E. Export-Import S. Strategic Alliance W. Wholly Owned Subsidiary Conclusion These international business methods help Indian companies expand globally. Depending on goals, budget, and risk, companies choose the method that suits them best. Understanding these methods is important for managing international finance successfully. Next important long question is 4. Recent Changes in International Financial Management Meaning International Financial Management, IFM, keeps changing because of new technologies, global events, and changing business needs. These changes affect how companies manage money across countries. Recent Changes in IFM 1. Digital Payments and Fintech Companies now use digital wallets, online banking, and blockchain for fast and safe international payments. Example, Indian exporters use UPI with foreign banks for real-time payments. 2. Use of Artificial Intelligence, AI AI tools help in predicting exchange rate trends, credit risk, and fraud detection. Example, banks use AI to manage foreign investment portfolios safely. 3. Global Tax Reforms New international tax rules are being created to reduce tax evasion. Example, G20 countries are working on a global minimum corporate tax. 4. Increased Currency Fluctuations After COVID-19 and Russia-Ukraine war, currency rates are unstable. IFM now focuses more on hedging and risk management. 5. Focus on ESG, Environment, Social, Governance Companies are now required to follow green and ethical financial practices. Example, many global investors now fund Indian companies that are environment-friendly. 6. Cross-border mergers and acquisitions there's a rise in Indian companies buying or merging with foreign firms. Example, Tata Motors buying Jaguar Land Rover is still considered a key move in IFM history. 7. Government Policies and Trade Agreements IFM adapts to new trade deals and foreign investment policies. Example, India's changing FDI rules affect how foreign money flows in. Easy trick to remember, DAG FECT. D. Digital Payments. A. AI Usage. G. Global Tax Reform. F. Fluctuating Currencies. E. ESG Focus. C. Cross Border Deals. T. Trade Policies. Conclusion International financial management is no longer just about currency and finance. It now includes technology, ethics, global risks, and government policies. Indian companies must stay updated with these changes to succeed in international markets. Next important long question is. 
5. Challenges in International Financial Management Meaning International Financial Management, IFM, involves managing money across countries. But dealing with different currencies, laws, and risks makes IFM more challenging than domestic finance. Major Challenges in IFM 1. Exchange Rate Fluctuations Currency values, dollar, euro, yen, change daily. This affects profits. Example, if the dollar value drops suddenly, Indian exporters may lose money. 2. Political and economic instability. Wars, elections, or sudden policy changes in any country can impact business. Example, Russia-Ukraine war affected oil prices and currency rates worldwide. 3. Different tax systems Each country has its own tax rules. Companies may face double taxation or legal issues. Example, Indian companies earning abroad must follow both Indian and foreign tax laws. 4. Legal and regulatory differences Rules for foreign investment, trade, and accounting vary from country to country. Example, what is allowed in India may be restricted in the USA or China. 5. Cultural and language barriers Understanding business customs, languages, and values is important for smooth operations. Example, marketing strategies in India may not work the same in Japan or Germany. 6. Managing international working capital Handling cash, inventory and receivables across countries is complex. It needs smart planning due to time zone and banking differences. 7. Risk of non-payment Foreign buyers may delay or avoid payments due to distance or legal issues. Exporters need insurance or guarantees to reduce this risk. Easy trick to remember, PLTCLR. P. Political risk E. Exchange Rate Risk L. Legal Challenges T. Tax Differences C. Cultural Issues L. Liquidity, Cash, Problems R. Risk of Non-Payment Conclusion International financial management is full of opportunities, but also full of challenges. Indian companies must learn to manage these wisely using proper planning, technology, and expert advice to succeed in the global market.